Hi, my name is Magnus Lövgren. I'm responsible for the manufacturing and sales of the IVF Smart Quench. Before testing your quenchant, we recommend you to pay extra attention to the preparations. By grinding off the oxide from your probe, you don't need to consider influence from the oxide layer. Start with the probe tip. Press a piece of emery paper against it with your thumb and rotate back and forth until the oxide is removed. Emery paper with grit size 320 is sufficient to remove the oxide but still fine enough to not reduce the probe diameter too fast. Be gentle to the edge and try to just grind the sectional surface. Then continue with the cylindrical surface. Remove the oxide to a bit above the probe body which is 60 mm long. Take a narrow strip of emery paper and pull it back and forth until the surface is free from oxide. Repeat once. When you are finished with the first third, turn the probe one third and continue. Repeat this grinding procedure. Then turn the probe the last third and grind again. When you're finished with the last third, take a close look at the edge which probably has a small amount of oxide left. Be very gentle and remove the oxide from the edge. Do not touch the grinded surface to avoid getting dust or grease on it because this can influence the cooling curve and how the vapor phase breaks. Check your grinding result carefully. And finally, end the procedure by wiping the probe with a soft tissue, first at the tip and then from the tip and up against the support tube. The reason to wipe in this direction is to avoid the risk to contaminate the grinded surface with quenchant that might be left higher up on the support tube. According to standards for testing quenching media, the measurements shall start at 850 degrees Celsius. The probe shall not be heated to more than 855 degrees Celsius. We recommend heating the probe to the upper limit at 855 degrees, since it cools down a few degrees during movement from furnace to the quenching media. Prepare the beaker with the correct amount of oil and check that the cone is mounted at the correct height of the probe. If you are uncertain, check the manual for our recommendations. We recommend a grinded surface to avoid possible influence from the oxide layer. By practice, you will learn to heat the oil and probe simultaneously, so they reach the correct start temperature at the same time. By practice, you will learn to heat the oil and probe simultaneously, so they reach the correct start temperature at the same time. Stir the oil during heating, but only during heating, to even out the temperature. As soon as the probe has reached the correct start temperature, rapidly lift the probe straight up, move it to above the quenchant, immerse it and let the cone find its place in the tripod. After the probe is positioned in the tripod, take a step back and watch the curve that slowly appears on the display. When the measurement time has passed, you will be asked to save or delete the measurement. If you choose to save it, Enter a file name for the cooling curve and press done to store it in the hand unit memory. Please feel free to contact us if you have any further questions. We have long experience regarding heat treatment.